Hey, it's R.C. Thornton here reporting to you from Haiku, which is in Maui in Hawaii. And wow, this is just a beautiful view, guys. I don't think you can really see it, but back there is the ocean. Uh, you have all this beautiful foliage around here. Uh, absolutely gorgeous place to be. So if you're looking for your next vacation destination, I highly recommend giving this a try, or at least considering up here in the mountains in Hawaii. But I wanted to take a break from my vacation to talk with you about something that um, you know, I was talking with my team about this and, uh, you know, we talk with all these folks, uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, self-employed people who have these extensive problems with the IRS. And the question just people ask is like, RC, what is the reason, like the real reason I can't seem to get above board with the IRS? Why is it that every single year I wind up owing more? Why is it that all the ways and all the times I try to fix this, I can't get it done? And why am I just been stuck for the last 5, 10, and for a lot of people, even 15, 20 years behind with the IRS? Here's the honest reason. And I know it's a little bit of like a lofty reason, but I know it's to be the most accurate reason out there. And the reason is because you haven't developed or evolved yourself or your own perspective to be someone who deserves to not be in trouble with the IRS. In other words, in your mindset and in the way you think, on some level, you think you deserve where you are. You tell yourself stuff like you're not good at money. You're not a good enough businessman or businesswoman to manage your cash flow better. You can't grow your business bigger, better. You can't implement processes, procedures, and systems in your business to stay on top of things and be more effective at what you do. You think that bookkeeping is, is too difficult, that you can't afford high quality tax consulting or professional advice. Or you try to do it all yourself. You're trying to be that that dreaded solo entrepreneur that's just grinding it out every single day. And you're so wiped out at the end of the day after working 50, 60 hours a week. You just don't have time to even think about this stuff. My friends, that's all in your mind. It's all your perception of who you are as a person. And as long as you identify consciously or subconsciously as someone who is of this low threshold that you just can't do it, that's the longer you're going to be stuck. Because all the IRS negotiations and all the tactics in the world and all the things even someone like myself could help you with mean absolutely nothing if all you're going to do is continue to perpetuate the cycle every year. The clients I have that are the most successful make a very deliberate decision in their mind that they are done messing around with this stuff. They're going to restructure their business. They're going to restructure their finances. They're going to tackle other parts of their life too that are leading to this. They're going to cut their personal spending. They're going to get things under control. They're going to track their money better. And by doing all of these things in aggregate, then they are going to be able to stay on top of things with the IRS from now on, because that's really the only way to do it. Look, I can help you negotiate with the IRS, but the one thing I can't help you do is take yourself and your life and your finances more seriously and give it the attention that it deserves. That has to come from within, within your own heart and your own mind, that this is something that's important to you. And it's something that we try to help all of our clients become aware of so that when we get to work and we negotiate with the IRS for you, you can actually have something that sticks and that works for you. So, I mean, I hope like that provides some perspective. I know it's kind of a lofty sounding thing, but honestly, it's the truth. Like, I mean, there's, there's a reason people are perpetually stuck with the IRS and you have to change the underlying actions and attitudes you have. So, I mean, if you're ready to get started on that process, if you've had enough and you're ready to make that transition into financially successful and sound business owner, I definitely encourage you to apply for a tax strategy session with me personally. There's going to be a link around here somewhere you can click on above, below, enter your information. It'll go right to my calendaring tool and we can chat here. I look forward to talking to you soon. I'm going to get back to my beautiful uh, vacation and time here. Take care, guys.